Just the impact of that that program and as far as being here at LA Comic Con. So for me, uh, the biggest uh, moment of pride that I've been able to do on the boys is to bring hip hop culture into this franchise. Um, as you know, Mother's Milk was a brother from Harlem. Um, but in the in the comics, you really didn't see the, the hip hop influence that uh, Harlem had on him. And so I wanted to bring that to life and to give an homage to all of our heroes, to give flowers to our standing heroes and those that have passed. So unfortunately, a lot of my t-shirts in the last recent uh, seasons have been a lot of our hip hop artists that are just unfortunately passing on DMX, you know, obviously we, we had to do pop, um, you know, uh, uh, Bismarcky, uh, but at the same time, you know, it feels good to be able to use my platform to just subtly shout out hip hop and the culture and, uh, and you know, always let everybody know that hip hop influences are all, influences us all and it's part of pop, pop culture forever. Absolutely, man. I could not agree more. Now, how much, within staying within the character, but how much creative freedom did you have to kind of showcase as far as hip, the hip hop generation is concerned and be able to kind of add your flavor to that character and still bring it to life? So, this is actually one of the few shows, and I can say is truly collaborative. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, we're very collaborative, but at the end of the day, whatever ends up on the script, the actors got to read it and regurgitate it. Here, uh, Eric Kripke, who's the showrunner on our show, has been has had an open door policy from day one. So when he sends out the scripts, the first thing I do is go through it, and then I'll do a Harlem pass, you know, to make sure that it meets the the requirements of, of New York, of Harlem, and that is it's it's accurate. Because um, if you think about it, The Boys takes place in New York, but Mother's Milk really is the only character that's from New York. So. I feel that it's my responsibility to really represent New York accurately as much as possible and, and Harlem because Harlem is like its own little, you know, uh, <laughs> micro culture within New York as well. A brother from Harlem and a brother from Brooklyn are two totally different vibes. Um, so that he's been very open to and as well as, you know, dialogue, story, uh, how the character expresses himself because the mother's milk that, you know, I shot day one. Uh, on camera is a lot different than Mother's Milk season four. He's grown, he's evolved, he's gone through a lot. Um, but the one thing that stays the same is his dedication to his family. That's another thing that we sat down before I took the role and uh, and we sat down, Eric Kripke and myself, and talked about the importance of family because I really wanted him to be a present black father. You know, he's a he's a, a daddy's uh, uh, a female dad. You know, he's a he's a he's a girl, girl father, dad. girl dad. Yeah. You know, and so for me, you know, I wanted to. This show breaks a lot of stereotypes, and the way that I wanted to use this character to break stereotypes is a stereotype that black fathers aren't present, which is some BS. You know, so there'll be a lot of scenes where at one point the scene was just, oh, mother's milk's in the apartment with his daughter. You know, and, and I'll write an email, I'll say, you know what, I want him to be doing her hair. You know, because if he's a single black father and he's about to take his daughter to school, more than likely he's had to learn how to braid hair or at least get her hair presentable to take her to school. And those little intimate moments that it's just a little black girl sitting between, you know, her father's, you know, legs on the floor while he's on the couch trying to figure out how to braid her hair. That's black, you know, and that's 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 black culture and that's black parenting at its finest.